In this lesson, what I'm going to take you through are some of the considerations that go into setting up your own domain name on Bubble. So one of the things that you may know off the bat is when you are hosting your own application on Bubble, but you haven't connected a domain name yet, is that you have um, your app is automatically hosted on Bubble's domain. So as its own subdomain. So it's your app name .io. But as soon as you add your own domain name, that goes away and in place your own domain name appears, but all the same pages, all the same structure is there. So how exactly do we go about setting that up? So first what we do is we hop on onto the settings tab and click on domain and email. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that uh, you either need to have purchased your own domain name already somewhere else. So in my case, my domain name registrar is a company called GoDaddy. You may have heard of them before, but there are plenty of others out there. And one of the nice things that Bubble has done as well is integrated things pretty closely with Google Apps uh, or Google as a domain name registrar. So if you want to make the process a little bit easier, you can just buy a domain name using Google here. But in my case, uh, GoDaddy is my registrar of choice. That's where all of my domain names are registered at. So it's a little bit easier for me to do everything there. But as well, uh, you may have uh, started out by developing your app in something like Squarespace, and you still want to use that domain name, but you want to migrate it over to Bubble. So you can keep your uh, domain name hosted with Squarespace, but all you need to do is to update some records uh, within Squarespace and take those over here. So in my case, uh, what I want to do is to update my domain name to point over to uh, my Bubble application and to make that work. So one of the th first things is that uh, within your domain name register, one of the places that you want to navigate to is this tab that says domain um, or DNS management. So it should um, look something like this. You have a bunch of what are called records. And those are the things that you're going to want to update. So first, what exactly are these letters and names? So uh, in our case, what I want to do is just focus on what's really pertinent for right now. And those are what are called A records. So uh, within a domain name, uh, part of what you're doing with your registrar is your registrar is acting like a switchboard. So they're saying, uh, where certain things should point to, where certain resources are located. And in the case of pointing to an address of a website, you have what are called A records. So I'll share a link to this page uh, from Google uh, within the lesson itself. So if you want to explore this a little bit more. But what we're going to do is we're going to update what are called A records. So A records are essentially what point your application to a specific place on the web. So I'm going to hop over into my uh, DNS management here. And uh, one of the first things that I want to do is to actually clear out any old records that are associated with um, my A names or my A values here. So and in the case of our example, I actually already have these pointed to bubble, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and delete them so I can walk you through the process of setting them up here. So, and you, uh, once you've done that, what we can do is to pop over to our application itself and type in the name of the app that we wish to connect. And once we do that, uh, Bubble is going to show us this prompt about uh, setting up our Google Maps API key. Now, in terms of actually setting up your app on its own domain, uh, this is not actually necessary, but it's something that I really recommend that you do. So I've covered how to set up your own Google Maps API key in some other lessons. I really encourage you to take care of that, but we're not going to focus on that during this video here. So we can go ahead and dismiss this, but it's very important uh, that you get that set up for your own application. Okay, now that we've done that, uh, Bubble is going to check in the background and say, hey, have you already pointed this application to Bubble? And if not, it's going to give us some values that we need to update there. So what we can do is to take those records. Uh, so notice the type here says A. And what we want to do is to add these as A records in our registrar. 
And then once we've done that, to come back and hit check my settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So I already deleted those old A records. And what I'm going to do is to choose for the type, some new A records. And so first it was saying point to www and say points to and hit save. Okay, so uh, we added that record and as well for our other record here, it has name, but that's blank. So what do we do? Hmm. So, well, let's try adding an A and leave the host value blank uh, and see, hmm, Bubble isn't letting, or rather GoDaddy isn't letting us actually submit that there. So what we can do is to rather just type in an at value there. And so we can see what happens. So let's go ahead and pop back over to Bubble and hit check my settings to see what happens there. Okay, great. It looks like it connected our app. So one of the things to keep in mind is that when you hit that button, your changes may not necessarily be automatic and it may take a little bit of time uh, to, uh, for your records to properly update. Don't be dismayed. Give it a little bit of time, grab a cup of coffee, uh, in my case, using GoDaddy, I've found that it's almost nearly instantaneous. Uh, so, but if it does take a little bit of time, just uh, take a moment, relax. <laughs> and so uh, following that, your domain name should be set up. And now if you were to go in, pop into your application, Bubble automatically reconciles that. So let's just go ahead and try previewing one more time and it may take an actual refresh here for our application to properly reflect that. But let's go ahead and hit preview. And now notice learnbubble.app is uh, showing up correctly there. But again, might take a little bit of time. Uh, if you run into that error, Perhaps what it's uh, caused by is that you need to check the box for SSL. And so I had previously had that checked and then reconnected the domain name here. And that's why that's happening there. So let's go ahead and recheck this and go ahead and give it a refresh. And great. Now notice everything is loading exactly as we intended here. We could also go to the main app and it looks like everything loads here. But remember, what you want to do is you want to deploy development to live. So your application automatically, your live app is going to reconcile with the new domain name, even though you haven't deployed changes to live, but you might want to make sure that everything is updated there. So that way, just everything is in sync but otherwise if you update that domain name remember you don't need to actually deploy to live but it's not going to impact uh, your actual uh, development application you need to remember to push that so otherwise hope you found this video helpful if you have any issues please feel free to reach out and happy building